Hello everyone, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. So first things first, we'll get this disconnected, we'll pick up the, the sprayer. We have that field there to spray, or only field to spray, but... I do want to mention, I was looking into the, some of the groundwork stuff, so... I have a kind of a solution to it. It's just going to take a while to fix. Uh, the precision farming thing where the environmental bonus wasn't showing up. I think it was just not showing up. It's still not showing up. But if I go and look in the mis miscellaneous section of the financials, you are gaining money there when you're trying to sell. So I think it is being paid. Just you can't notice it <laughs> so at least that's what I think was going on and of course in doing so I uh, I deactivated the precision precision farming mod and then activated it again which then of course wiped well like this sprayer and stuff I made a backup prior but in the backup, I deleted some of our, like our bags of seeds and stuff. Because I was just trying to clear everything out. Trying to figure out a solution for the ground not being able to adjust. So then I had to pull my backup from that. And well, we, don't ha we don't have all of the same bags we had prior. I spawned in what I remembered we had. But I know we don't, we don't have exact the same amount of stuff. But I'm pretty sure we had two things, like one and a half things of eggs. We don't, we only have one now, because I can only spawn in a full pallet. It will be a little while until we can get everything fixed. It's just, I do have a solution. Um. Basically what I found, because I was doing a lot of research online. I'm going to buy a, I think I'm going to buy a mower and stuff, by the way, so. We will go and do that right now. Oh, and the tether. I almost forgot. The tether was super cheap, so we are going to buy that as well. And a hardy. Hit the wrong button already. And a mower. I think it will buy this. It's super cheap. So, it's a little bit wider than, like, the John Deere, which is one of my favorite mowers, I'll be honest. It's, it, this one's a little bit faster. I mean, can you really beat that width, right, at, at that cheap of a price? This is four miles an hour. I think I used that one before. <laughs> it felt like it was slow. Uh, let's switch out... The front attachment, because I can bring the one back on. So yeah, anyways, the small little bits. Online, some people were saying you can put a tree there, and then cut it. And then you can adjust it. That wasn't working for me. The one thing I could find is... You can place something there, and it fixes the issue. Cause it's acting like there's still like a tree there, even though I have went into the dev control and deleted them. So you can place it and then it lets you adjust the ground. That's why I said it's going to be a little bit just because it's probably going to take a while for me to obviously I'll have to set the money to whatever and place all the diesel tanks wherever on the spot and then correct them and so it's not something I'll be doing on camera. I'll save every, everyone the the joy of that, but it may not happen right away. My plan with cutting the grass is I want to get some bales. Now, see, we had a tether on sale too, so of course I'm going to buy the tether and make hay bales and not grass bales. For sheep, I will get some in advance ahead of time. We don't have a lot of grass to cut, and if we get sheep, we're going to lose some of that grass, so... 
depending where I get it, I put it. I mean, I could take from a field too. I would want to do that though. But that'll be a, a future issue. <laughs> For the time being, we'll get some stockpiled. And plus, next time I do wheat, barley, well, probably barley, we can uh, bale. Bale the straw. Make a little extra money from that. Especially considering the barley just goes to the chickens, which next time we plant that small field, that is what it's going into. That, uh... This goes right to the chickens. We're not really making money from the harvest. Long term, we are. But. Yeah, we only have like a little bit of grass there, this grass, and the grass right up here. We don't. We don't have a lot. We really don't. Well, we can drop the tether. We don't really need that right this second. And switch over to this. We could do silage. I'm not sure how much the wrapper is though. So for the time being I think the first bit will be hay. And then, you know, maybe in the future, like next time. Maybe we'll do some silage. Yes, it would only be like two, three bales. But it's something. It's something. I know there are some that go on... Oh, I'm in the wrong direction. There are some bale wrappers that go on the forks. Not on the forks, but on to front loader. So maybe that would be a little bit cheaper. Uh, we can take a look. Bale wrappers. Yeah, we have this one. Which, I think this might be a three point. There's a one point, two point attacher. We have that, or we have the Go wheel, which I have not got to use anything from this. Three point and front loader. So yeah. Support roller. We could do that. That would have to be round though. That is another negative. I prefer square bales. So. Yeah, maybe not right now. <laughs> Maybe not right now. But we'll just cut like every decent sized portion of grass we have. Oh, I suppose we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss some, and this isn't. Oh. Get them over? I think that. Is that the issue? There we go. Okay. I had that off or on. Yeah, we'll end up not getting all of it because obviously you're not mowing in the middle. So we'll have to go back through, hit it a second time, and then we'll then we'll get it. Didn't even actually think about that. I'll be honest. When I was looking, I'll be honest. I did not even think about that. But I think we might be able to go to the next over and might be might be able to get some from the other side. Try not to drive into the crop. So yeah, you know, maybe obviously in the future maybe you will upgrade this. But or get a front one to go alongside. That would obviously work too. But the only thing with a front one is we would need a different tractor. <laughs> this does not have a front PTO. 
I don't think this is going to be too bad for grass. Obviously, most of it's there, so time will tell, but, you know, once everything's windrowed up, I don't think it'd be, be horrible. Yeah, you can just drive into the already mowed part, and then you're just mowing on the other side. It kind of works. For the price, it works really good. For the price. I'm sure this is just a, it's a design they did probably many, many years ago. Many, many years ago. So, they made do with what they had, and this is what they had. It honestly kind of reminds me of, uh, if you look at old, like, horse-driven ones, some of those were similar. Same like Drawbar. I don't know if it was a mower, but I have seen them before, and it kind of reminds me of that style where, the, you know, you have your bar style or mower. Yeah, I, I think, uh... For a first time, you know, for how many hay bales we'll get, I think it'll be fine. And then definitely, I think next time. I don't think we'll be getting sheep super, super soon. And we got we got to fix obviously some of the, the issues out here. We can't we can't put a pen down and. Certain areas are not flattening down correctly. You know, this said, what, seven miles an hour, but I ain't getting ten. So it's not, not really much slower than some of the other mowers. So really, get a front mower and I think you'd be set. It'd have to be a wider one, though. The way it looks like, though. But make it work. You can make it work. Of course, I gotta go over the hump, so it may not mow all of this. We'll get a majority, though. I don't know if we'll get it to wind road and bailed this month. We'll see. Realistically, obviously, if it's hay, you should probably even leave it dry. Well, I think I will probably go ahead and do a time lapse. We'll finish up this and we can probably get everything tethered too. So I will talk to everyone once the time lapse is done. Just about done with the, uh, well, tethering now. I think we have enough time. We can probably finish maybe both, but there is some driving time in there, so. We could probably do, I was about to say, is that going to turn off by itself? Like, you're folding up. So we could probably do at least... Got a lot of things over here. We can at least probably do the windrow. I can't bring those back two at a time, unfortunately. I guess we'll have a lot of spending this month, actually. Quite a bit of spending. Uh, so we got windrowers, and we still need a baler for hay. Um, that's probably the best bet. $1,300... 
six and a half meters. To get bigger, we're talking almost 20. So yeah, that's definitely the best bet. Uh, I kind of like the color. What's the other option? Gold. We'll buy this. We will buy a baler. I just... Well, we might finish it this month. Um, Let's look at bale wrappers. It's the cheapest... Square bale or, or square bale wrapper. 35,000. Maybe we might go with a round baler at the start. Which is going to be more here. That's only going to be 125 centimeter bales. Get 150, we're talking 40 grand. That is not cheap. All right, so I'm going to go pick up our windrower. I think we might have to wait till next month to do the bailing. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look to see if there's some modded bale wrappers for square balers that are lower, you know, lower price than thirty thousand dollars because we could not afford that. But at some point, I do want to maybe sell a little bit of silage. Can be quite cost effective once you start getting a lot of bales. Well, there is our brand new wind rower. And I just realized I didn't even check the sails at all. Aside for the tether. You know, my luck. It might have went on sale or something. Uh, no. Our, the newest addition is the Massey 200. With the AIB 200 three, three cylinder series. Well, it's a 230, but I don't know that much about Massey Ferguson, so I am, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who probably see that and it's like, oh yeah, that's a classic. I don't know much about him, so I'll be honest. I'll get this lowered. And if I remember correctly, we have used this uh, tether, or not tether, uh, wind rower before in the first survival challenge. And I don't think we bought a new one for the longest time. I think we only bought the new one because we had a really big feel that we were going to wind row. Uh, it's, not, it's not like the only reason, really. Which I mean, we did. We just didn't have that to have that big of a grass field to worry about it. Which I would assume will probably be the same here. It'll be just big enough to keep up with the animals. You know, we can take a break of not doing it constantly, and the animals will be fine. Which I'm sure at some point. One of these fields, probably that field, will be turned into grass. So that'll be like once we start expanding more type of thing. But you know, if we expand down there, we can have our, our other crops down there. We don't need two fields necessarily of you know, one's a wheat or something for chickens. I consider maybe next time doing wheat or barley in that bigger field. But my only thought is there is it's our big field. So we would have one cycle of like 10 months where our biggest field is not producing as money. And even even after that it's going to go to si you know to the silo for the chickens. And it's going to take a while for the chickens to eat through it and you know, make a profit on it. Uh, we're early enough on that you almost want to keep a smaller field if possible doing it. You want your big fields to do your soybeans and your sorghums, your oats maybe. Which if we have a baler, we can probably do some oats. 
we can bale the straw. Which I think I would just sell the straw, though. For the time being, at least. Oh, well, we don't have too much left in this. Be interesting to see kind of how many bales we'll get once we're, we're baling it. I would guess like five, maybe, depending on if it's round bales or or uh, square bales. And that is done. And just a really small piece. So we can get that folded back up. Probably have to store it over here next to the chickens almost. Well, there might be a little bit of room in there, it looks like. Uh, and I do really want to get um, either a solar panel or the smaller wind turbine generator. Just because I feel like it's going to be an easy... You basically pay for it, and there's your money coming in every month. But the thing is, if we have a shed going in here, I don't want to put it in. And I, would, I guess it could go down here, I guess, but... Honestly, if it was like right here, you could get sun on it all day, almost. It was a, if it was a uh, solar panel. Uh, but I think we might own all the way down to the river or down to the pond. It's not really a river. It's a pond. Um, I don't have the generator thing that we had last time. That was like an apple tree. At least not activated. The small solar collector is almost eight grand. And that would pull in about $650 a month. You kind of go anywhere. Oh, no, we do not own the land down here. So it would have to be like right on the cliff side almost. I think just one down here would just be. So I think if the sun's coming up from over here, it would hit this down here. Trying to see how low that is compared to everything else. That is quite low compared to everything else. I didn't build up the that edge as much. You know I'm gonna put that right there. Or leave seeds down there. That should be kind of right in the area of sun. Well, I have it tilted a little bit towards the tree, but as for the most part a direct path to the sun. Outside of some trees right in the morning, maybe, but I hardly even know it'll be down there. Didn't realize it was that low, but it'll be an easy way we'll make, you know, 650 bucks a month. Um, it'll take, uh, man, not even, about a year, yeah. Like right around a year for us to make the money back. And then after that, we would just be straight profit. Harley would even know it's there. I might put a bigger, one of the bigger solar panels down at some other point somewhere else. Um, let me know what, what you're thinking of that. Uh, otherwise, I might just try to do more productions like that in the future, too. I know some people don't always like the, well, basically money generators. But in a sense, like, for us, I mean, we could say, hey, it's powering the lights in our tent and, you know, anything to do with the, the silos and, you know, chickens and stuff. Obviously, you would have a bigger solar panel for that, though. Anyways, that is everything for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.